so welcome to this tutorial and in this particular tutorial i am going to discuss socket programming in python so now first of all before going in deep in the programming we will understand what is meant by client server architecture or client server model so whenever we want some service from any website for example from google we are typing some query and the result we are getting so that is nothing but we are we want some service and google is providing that particular service so that is nothing but called as as a client server architecture what is meant by client server architecture so server means it is a piece of hardware or software it is a hardware or software which will provide you service to one or more clients as per their request if you take example of google there are multiple requests from various clients along the globe and that particular request are serviced by the google server now what is meant by client client is nothing but it is a contacting server for particular request and he will get the service from the server so client server architecture in client server architecture whenever we are requesting something and we are getting something so in that case we want a socket socket is nothing but it is involved in the end communication between the client client and server so this is like a client server architecture there is a server and those clients client one client two many clients they are asking they are requesting for the service and they are getting the service from the server so now what is socket so as i have told in case of communication end to end communication we, across the network or internet we want socket so it is a software structure within a network which is used as a end point for sending and receiving data across network so in case of client server model in case of uh, sending a request and getting the request done or getting the service so we are sending and receiving data over the network and in that case we are using some software structure that is called as socket so which is nothing but end point communication across the network so it is an end point in communication network the socket it is identified by other host with the socket address consisting of three things like transport protocol it may be tcp udp or ip address it may be ip version 4 or ip version 6 and the port number now what is meant by ip address and what is by port address a port number so ip address it is a numerical label or address assigned to a device on the network so every device on the network should have some address and that address is defined by number so in case of ip, IP version 4 it is represented with the help of four bytes and in case of ip version 6 it is represented by six bytes so the port number it is nothing but a logical thing or construct which identifies the process running on the particular server or particular client so normally the port number range it is beginning from 0 to 65535 now in case of socket programming we have to import the socket module so that is available in the python so we have to import the socket module and from that that socket module we have to use some methods and see here there is a socket dot socket method which is used to create the socket now there is a socket dot bind method which is used to bind a specific address with the socket so you can bind the specific address and port number with the socket then there is a socket dot accept which is used to accept the connection socket dot connect is one more method which can connect to remote address so if you want to connect from client to client to server you can use the socket dot connect then socket dot listen it will enable server to accept connection uh, socket dot send it is used to use for sending the data and socket dot receive it is used for receiving the data and finally you can close the socket by using socket dot close so those methods you can use at, at the server side or at the client side so most of the methods you have to use at the server side than the client side few methods you can use at the client side so here is the diagram where you can see which methods can be used at the client side and server side so this is the client side and this is the server side so initially you have to create the socket and then you have to bind the address for the server you have to create a listen method you have to use the listen method then you have to accept the connection from the client then client will be connected then you can receive the data or you can send the data 
so that is possible and finally you can close the connection so this is nothing but how client and server will work in case of client the client will use or create the socket first then it will start connecting to the server then it will send and receive the data and finally client can also close the connection so this is nothing but client server connection i am going to open ideally so python 3.9 ideally now i will open one more ideally okay so i have opened two ideally one for client side one for server side uh, programming now i'll create a new file so i will save this as file save as save as server1.py okay so it is saved as a server1.py now i will create one more file at other shell and i will save this file as save as client1.py okay so this is client side server side so i will arrange them okay i have four windows and i have this server file and this is client file so i will write into the server first of all i will use import import socket so this is the module i have so i have to import this module and after importing this module i have to create a socket so i will write so is equal to socket dot socket okay i have created this socket module and after creating socket module i have to bind the address i have to bind the ip address so i will use serve dot bind serve dot bind and in case of uh, this particular server we are using that server on local machine so you can use local host local host okay comma and you have to give the ip number so i am giving the port number as a 10000 as you are binding the ip address and port number you have to bind in a tuple so you have to write in tuple so that is local host comma 1000 a uh, 10000 after binding what you have to do you have to create a, or you have to use the listen method as so dot listen so how many connection you want how many connection you want if suppose i want five connection i want five clients can connect to the server so in that case i am using here five if you want two you can use two if you want three you can use three so listen method it will restrict the number of clients that can connect to the server so i have used the listen method serve dot listen now after listen method what i have to do i will uh, print some message so that it will be like server is waiting for connection now server will be in the wait state until client request server will not give the answer so that till that server will be always in the wait state okay so you will keep the server in a wait state by using while suppose while true while true what you can do server will be in the listen state server will be in a accepting state so that you can use the method that is as you will use the serve dot accept method that will accept the connection from the client and that serve dot accept it will you will get two information that is client and you will get the address now after that you can print so which client is connected so you can write connected client is what you can have you can provide the address address now we'll save this and we'll see what is the output now you can run it okay run this program run module run save so see here output is server is waiting for the connection because yet we have not written anything in the client anything in the client yet client is not connected with the server hence server is in waiting state in the while it is in a while loop it is in a waiting state so i will write something into client so first of all i have to import socket import socket so this is a module i have to import 
after importing module in the uh, client what you have to do i have to create a socket so i will clear create a socket client is equal to socket dot socket i have to create a socket now after creating socket what you have to do i have to connect to server so there is a method connect so client dot connect and whom to connect you have to connect to the server whose ip address is localhost localhost whom you have to connect localhost comma what is the port number 110000 and you must give inside the tuple inside the tuple okay now run this save it save this and run it run this module okay now once you have run this particular module you have run this client module you can see connected client is 127.0.0.1 and this is nothing but 64032 this is the port number of what client and this is ip address local host having ip address 127.0.0 okay so this is nothing but you are using on the local host so that client it is connecting to the local host and which port number it is used by the client 64032 if you run this once again if you run this once again then you will get another port number 64034 connected client is 64034 now after connection this is now connection is established we have the client is connected with the server now we are accepting we are requesting some services if suppose i want to send something from this i want to receive from something from this now suppose i want to send what i have to do i want to send some data from the server so i will use send method so that client dot send okay i will send the data now how to write the data suppose if i am writing you are connected connected welcome okay, welcome to service we will see what happens with this okay so you will get server is waiting then if i run this client it's connected but there is error that it will have a byte like object is required not a string so this is a string but you want byte so you have to write bytes bytes and in bracket you have to give the uh, content you have to give the content inside the byte also one more thing is must provide the okay if you run this you can run it run the module okay waiting for connection you can run the so uh, client side socket or client okay it is connected yeah string argument without an encoding so this is a string argument but without encoding so you have to give encoding as utf utf8 it is encoding now once again you can run it okay yes uh, waiting for the connection run this module yeah it is connected now this client is not received whatever content you have transferred so what you want on the client you are connected welcome to the service so for that you must receive it so client client dot receive receive what client will receive is a buffer size 1024 buffer size now you can run it run this module okay now see uh, we will have this first of all we will run the server run the module waiting connection then you can go for the client side okay waiting for connection but still it is not you can print it by using print command now see what happens with the client yeah b you are connected welcome to service this is a byte code okay b means bytes now you have to decode you have to decode so what you can do you can use decode method decode okay decode for client so this is a run you are you are 
connected welcome to service now this is nothing but how you can communicate now you can send some data from the client now run this run server module okay now waiting for connection go for client module run this module okay save module yes see now the communication happens first of all server sends you are connected welcome to service so this is available on the client side so you are connected welcome to service and from the client side what is transferred hello server i am getting a service now see hello server i am getting the service so based on that now you can uh, transfer the data from client you can transfer the data to the server so this is possible this is possible with the help of socket so initially you have to create the socket then in case of server you have to bind then uh, use the listen method and continuously keep the server in waiting state and by using uh, accept method the server uh, will get the client address and client and afterwards by using the send and receive send and receive method you can transfer a data from client to the server and server to the client so it